Hello again and welcome back to Garage Science. So I'm going to do a quick update here on the last video where I made these uh, these aluminum tool holding forks with the uh, 3D printed jaws. This one doesn't have the 3D printed jaws and uh, what it does is it replaces this uh, nylon um, plastic, I think it's glass filled nylon uh, tool holding fork that normally comes with the Tormach ATC um, modification for uh, some of their mills and what I discovered is is with the original plastic forks is they would uh, deform slowly over time and as soon as it bends just a little bit it causes the shank of the tool holder fork to fall just slightly out of alignment with the spindle and then when it comes down to feed it it um, uh, it can misfeed it right and it's it's kind of unpredictable when that happens especially if you've got heavier tools like drill chucks um, it just it kind of makes a, a mess of things and so with these aluminum tool holding forks it it's much more rigid right so it, it holds it better um, and then the 3d printed jaws make sure that it still uh, locks it into place so let's go ahead and load a tool real quick There you go. So, um, what these uh, tool holding forks have done, like um, I've had these in here for over six months now, um, they've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tool changes. Um, <clears throat> I've only had one issue, um, and that was uh, I tried to load the tool once, and there was a metal chip on the shank of the tool, right? So, let me put this down. All right, so when it came in to load the tool, there was a chip here on the shank, and so when it came down to, to grab it, um, it bound up, right? And so it, it pushed the tool down slightly and uh, stripped the nylon screws a bit, and uh, that's, that's all that happened, right? And so that wasn't an issue with the tool holder. Um, that was just an issue with the uh, uh, metal shaving being on here. That's actually what caused me to uh, make this plastic uh, sneeze guard for the tool changer just to keep chips from from flying up around here it, um, it's worked out really well I've not had any issues with uh, metal shavings getting up on the shanks of the tools um, it's all stayed very clean since then um, but besides that this tool changer has done hundreds and hundreds of tool changes um, over the last six months and it's been six months and not a single issue uh, feeding a tool and so before, when I was using the uh, the plastic uh, tool holder forks, I just I had so much anxiety about walking away from the machine because what if something happened and I was on the other side of the shop and I had to run over, but it was too late. It was already breaking more stuff. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm very comfortable just walking away from the machine with it uh, uh, running right now. So uh, these are excellent. I can't recommend them enough. Let's see if I can get a little closer view for you. So the tool slide in and out. It has these 3D printed jaws that lock the tool into place, right? So that way it doesn't slide out as it uh, as it comes over, right? But it's still, you know, it comes out easily enough for the tool to uh, release when the tool changer goes back. And there you go. So. All these tool changers have been in service for a number of months now and uh, just literally have not had any issues. The sneeze guard helps keep the, the top of the carousel clean and the top of the tool holders. <clears throat> they stay free of chips um, and everything's just so, so much nicer now. Um, but anyways, so I've had a number of people uh, order these things. Um, I highly recommend you guys get some. I've got an Etsy account that you guys can buy these from or you guys can email me directly. We can work something out. But um, I really highly recommend these things. It uh, will save you a lot of anxiety and worry with your machine. But uh, anyways, that's kind of it. But this, is, uh, this, this update is, uh, I think, necessary just because of how well these ended up working out. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. And... Uh, and let me know if you're interested in, in getting some of these. I think they're worth it. Um, Till next time.